The next book I'm reading will be 1989 by George Orwell. I finally finished 1984 this February and it was a quite an experience. George Orwell, 1984. I have an unpopular opinion about this. But that's not the first time I decided to pick up 1984. Um, I attempted to read it in 2018 and that failed completely. I was very bored. Did I call it 1989? <laughs> I mean 1984 by George Orwell, not to be confused, with 1989 by Taylor Swift. But this year, this girl decided this is the time we're gonna tackle this beast and I, with the help of an audiobook, I read 1984. We're gonna do a short review and a long review. Are you ready? Short review? It sucks. See you next week. I rated this book two stars and had a lot of problems uh, with it. Long review, um, it sucks for a few reasons. God, this is just not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> because there's no point <laughs> to the story. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. And then Winston finds out about this secret society. Julie and him are joining and they're reading this book and they're, oh my gosh. So this is the moment when O'Brien and Winston discuss the Brotherhood, the underground society that is fighting against the Socialist Party. The whole, like, there are multiple chapters of him reading this boring... You are prepared to give your lives? Yes. You are prepared to commit murder? Yes. To commit acts of sabotage which may cause the death of hundreds of innocent people? Yes. Political... To betray your country to foreign powers? Yes. You are prepared to cheat, to forge, to blackmail, to corrupt the minds of children, to distribute habit-forming drugs, to encourage prostitution, to disseminate venereal disease, to do anything which is likely to cause demoralization and weaken the power of the party? Yes. Book that could be shortened up and told us in such more interesting way than that. The writing is very dry. It reads like an essay. It, it reads like an essay. If, for example, it would somehow serve our interests to throw sulfuric acid in a child's face, are you prepared to do that? Yes. But okay, that, the author's choice of writing, fine. The characters are bland. It's just, the characters are so shallow, so underdeveloped, so weird, and so unreal. Like, you're not rooting for the protagonist. You don't like the protagonist. The protagonist is not a likable person. I didn't find myself caring for them. I found myself being like, I got it. I truly get that you have varicose veins. He's obsessed with his varicose veins in this book, and I can't. What can you tell me about Winston, apart from the fact that he hates the party and wants to rape Julia at some point. And so if I can't root for them and I'm not rooting for any of the other characters, like what's the point of characters, right? If you're gonna have characters, at least have one of them that's likable. But so far that hasn't happened in this book. Um there was also like a trope of like the main guy is like an old guy with like a varicose vein. I don't know if I've hit that home enough. He has a big ass varicose vein and he talks about it constantly. And like this beautiful woman's like, I'm in love with you, I wanna fuck you. And you're like, I don't know if I buy it. Feels like a little bit of a self insert. So Winston and Julia are in love, right? They have this entire secret little love affair. And I get that this is very nitpicky, that this is not supposed to be a romance book, but can someone please tell me what the fuck their relationship is? Because I don't get it. The other main character, protagonist, person. Unbelievable. Completely, I just, I can't fathom this person being a real person or having the reactions that they do to situations. I feel like George Orwell is a huge sexist. I think George Orwell was like projecting when he wrote this. I don't know how horny he was. Chances are he was quite horny. He writes an old, ugly male character with like a gaping open wound in his leg or some shit. And honestly, by creating Winston, he's kind of like just, you know, sex is everything that a woman is good for. And as long as she gives that, then that's all right. It just psychologically makes no sense to me. And I'm, I'm a pretty messed up thinker, right? I can rationalize a lot of messed up behavior. I could not wrap my head around what made her tick. It just, she did not feel like a real person whatsoever. And then the hottest chick in the novel never speaks to him, ever. They don't touch each other, ever. They don't speak. They never even really look at each other for more than three seconds. And then he gets a note from this bitch. And the note says, I love you. If anyone 
has a car door that they would be willing to loan me so that I could smash my face in it and forget I ever read that passage, feel free to DM me. My social media will be in the description box below. And so George Orwell told me that having sex and love affairs with anyone you want uh, outside the marriage is fine. It should be actually praised and, you know, whatever. What did I like about it? I thought the sentiment of like, government is bad, capitalism is awful. I was there for that. And I it's not happening. It feels like I'm not, I'm not 16 and I'm not angsty enough. Like you have to be young and in the mindset of I'm the smartest person in the room and nothing matters and no one can see the world through my eyes for this book to really hit home. It's, it's just, it's just bad angst. This idea that Winston ends up going to the other extreme to then engage in equal acts of violence is how Orwell chose to represent the two evils on an equal playing field. Please keep in mind it's extremely triggering for a multitude of traumatic events and that if you're already, I feel like the smartest person in the room and depressed, maybe not the book for you. That's, this isn't going to be therapeutic for you at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I read this book once, 1984, have you read that? No. It's, it's an old book and Who it's it? uh, George Orwell. He basically spoke of a future where everything is programmed. It was a miserable story. I wouldn't even recommend anyone read well, that. Do you know why it's a miserable story? Because you already know what it is that you know. But the point is that it's so restrictive and so oppressive. It just it just feels like no type of life. But that's what to him, badly applied totalitarian version of communism is just as bad as a fascist government like that of Nazi Germany. There was also a moment in the book where um, Julian and him trying to join this um, secret society and O'Brien asks him if you're ready to... Um, you know, sacrifice me, people's lives, sacrifice your lives, go against, go against government, go against morals and do horrible things. You Are you ready to murder? You are prepared to lose your identity and live out the rest of your life as a waiter or a dog worker? Yes. You are prepared to commit suicide if and when we order you to do so? Yes. You are prepared, the two of you, to separate and never see one another again? No, broken Julia to do all of that stuff and he says yes to everything except being separated with Julia which happens in the book anyway <laughs> but he says such horrible things that he's ready to kill to pretend to lie to spy to do anything for the secret society but he is just hates the government let's just look at the rest of the quote you are prepared to give your lives yes okay you are prepared to commit murder they hate the party because it's fucking immoral and now they're prepared to commit murder because they're moving to the other extreme. 1984 by George Orwell. I gave this three stars. 1984, <laughs> two stars, definitely some issues. I don't know, that's that's where I'm at with it. I didn't like it at all. I'm giving it one star and that's, that's where I'm putting it. Uh, if you have to read it for school, do it. If you want to read it in your lifetime, just to say you did it, do it. Is it worth it? No. It was, it was not great. If you don't appreciate the fact that I gave it one star, um, tough deal. I don't know what to say. I didn't like it. The Giver. Much shorter book, much more enjoyable, not a classic classic, which is like young adult, middle grade classic, I would say. Uh, totally enjoyable, totally worth it. I read it in two days and I don't read books that fast, okay? It was well done, four and four and a half out of five stars. Totally recommend this one. So yeah, that's my review of 1984. Um, George Orwell did not like it.